Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday Night Live with Bill Tucci. Behold his mighty hand. Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang. Just want to manage expectations. Weird. Weird. This is the worst. What's up, everybody? Oh, a little reverb there. Much better? Much better. Much better. This should be muted. Nope. I got to mute this bad boy here. Much better. What's going on, everybody? Teen Sensation Billy Tucci here, and I'm coming to you live from my studio. There's a AM 6-30 behind me. Uh, the duck stick sitting back there, and she's back right here in front of me. So what I am doing, guys, first of all, I want to welcome everybody. Uh, Omni, good to see you, man. Studio, oh, Brad, what's up, Kiki? Talking about you today, man. Talking to Soul Off earlier today about old San Diego. Looking forward to seeing you in a few months, brother. Uh, Stat Zero, of course, always good seeing you. The great Dan Genovese is here. Yes, I have uh, my laptop right there um, and my art table right here with this camera, which um, gets in my way, man. I got to draw with this camera right in my – you'll see me probably hit myself. So the angle is off a little bit, but what I'm doing here today is um, I'm going to start doing these draw streams. Tomorrow I have uh, a commission I'm going to be working on, but it's so late. That I just might, I got to see what he requested. I'm not going to give his name out, um, uh, but he's a fan of the channel and follows us on Twitter. Um, so uh, I might give him a cover because <laughs> it's uh, just so late. So I might just give him a, give him one of my covers that I've, I've recently done. What we're working on here today is that we have our new she um, trading card binder. And what the front of the card binder, and I could share that with our campaign real quick. Uh, let me see if I can do that and grab the campaign. Where is it? <clears throat> Where is my she 30th anniversary? Okay, so we had this she 30th anniversary original art edition. And uh, what we have here is one of our perks of this campaign is, uh, where is it? Or she trading card binder, if you can see it right here. Um, so what we're doing with this she, she trading card binder is the front of it is this image. Um, if I click on it, it makes it a little bigger. Let's see. Did I add the trading card? I'm going to see if I added the trading card binder down here to, to the main area. I don't know if I did. Yeah, okay. So you got the tra trading card binder right here. So for $35, you're going to get a trading card binder plus a original trading card that is only available to uh, our backers. So if you'll see the, the image, you got some sheet page, you know, a black and white sheet page in the back, our death walk uh, image in the front. So Debbie came up with the idea is why not do the back of the cover is she's back. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. And uh, the back of it will be, let me see, I'm going to move these around. Hang on a second. Let me go into the stream yard. Here. Hang on. Let's see if I could just move these bad boys around. I should have moved it. Let's see if I can play with the. Uh, no, that sucks. That one. That one sucks too. There we go. I'll fix it. Anyway, so I'm gonna draw. So here's the the art for the front of of the of the cover. It's a, a Xerox of it. See. So what we're doing here with the Xerox of that is, I basically did a little magic with my light box and I kind of reversed her. Man, if we see if I can go back. Problem is, man, is that I got to draw for you people. Can I even say you people anymore? I don't know. Um, 
<laughs> is let's go big with this. Uh, let's make this one big. Uh, present. Okay. Uh, is this image. I'll, I'll go full screen with it. Let's go full screen. Boom. Okay. So this image right here. So here's the front. And I'm going to draw it. She's back. So uh, if you guys don't mind, come and join me while I draw a little bit. It's so she's so uh, it's kind of fun. So the back of the binder will be that. And I'm thinking of even making this the card. If I could find a lenticular card and see if we could afford to do that. Uh, I love that it would be a lenticular card that goes back and forth to um, front and, you know, front and back, which would show the, the front and the back. And, of course, we'll get it colored. Um, I believe Wes Hartman colored this one, my buddy, whose birthday it was yesterday. So if Wes did color this, we'll have him color the second one. But we're going to add some nice shading to it, as you can see. I added some nice pencil shading and stuff like that. And then that'll be this one. And we get to draw it. And here's the butt. So uh, it's, it's very hard for me to draw like this. I can be honest with you, but it looks better for you guys. So I'm suffering for, for, for my art. And uh, But thanks, everybody. Adino, what's happening, brother? Scott Phelps, good to see you too, pal. Um, dude, holy fuck, that's badass. Is that no pun intended, Kiki? And great drawing, Brad. That's Brad's drawing right there of Ampy. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's it. Let's... Uh, Let's go with the double. Let's see if I could do this. No, I'm going to. I'm going to take this one off for now. Stop screen. There we go. I think that works. Uh, let's see if I can find a better background. Something cool. It should be all black. Do we like all black? Do we like the little crusade? That's a little crusade. That's kind of cool, right? We can do that. Let's see. Let's see what else, Kiki. What do you think? What do you think of uh, of that? Is that better? Oh yeah. Let's just look at. That. Hello. <laughs> Check, please. That was from Aaron Lepresti. My goodness, Aaron, so crass, so crass on your part, buddy. But uh, I'm gonna work on this. I guess we'll start. We'll work on some hair. This camera. If anyone knows of a good dolly or a good camera, um, thing that I could. You know, I could do, let's see if I get down even lower. Hang on. Okay, let's see. And I got, of course, my shadows. Forgive me. I'm going to try to work my shadows up better. All right, so let's play. I think I could do this and play with some hair and stuff. I guess we'll start from the top. Uh, what I'm going to put on the kanji on the sashimono right here. So we should call it sachet sashimono. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Boy, that was freaking lame, wasn't it? I have too much friggin' fun here, man. Um, the reason why I'm also streaming today is that I'm not going to be able to do Thursday Night Live today because uh, my son has wrestling. Matthew has wrestling today. Uh, so I'm going to miss Thursday Night Live. Also, next week, I will not be around either because of uh, we have a tournament down in New Jersey. So uh, a wrestling tournament. So and we're leaving on Thursday for that tournament. Um, and the tournament's on Friday. So let's uh, Friday and Saturday. And that'll be Easter, and then we're going to spend, you know, East, have a nice Easter afterwards. So I'll just be drawn. If you guys got any questions you want to ask, I can send old Dr. Blevins the, uh, send Dr. Blevins the uh, link here. Let's see if this is the link. Let's see if he's around. The good, the good Dr. Blevins. While I do that, let's send that. I'll send it to him to through the book face here. And I am streaming on Facebook. I am also streaming on uh, Twitter for the first time. Uh, Let's see if he's around, old Dr. B. I kind of just decided to do this paste. Let's see. That should be it. That should be the link. Um, so, uh, yeah, so this is just a part of our, our um, crusade stuff that we're doing here. Uh, kick and ass. We got a lot of stuff coming out this year. A lot. Uh, thank you to everyone who ordered our, uh, lucky Clover book. That book is being printed right now and it should be done by what's today? Thursday. Uh, should have them done by Saturday. So then we could, uh, pack them all up on Sunday and get them out to you guys, uh, for Monday shipment. I'll drop them off at the, at the post office on Monday. Let me do a little hair here. Golly, this is hard. Man, this is hard. Uh, 
forgive me, y'all. I'm going to see if I can move this over. And I want to do a stream. I have a lot of things I'm very, uh, very curious about, uh, specifically. And Shane Davis, my, my buddy, uh, had had posted something that Niall Scal and I had been talking about. And uh, that is with CGC and also not just CGC books, but um, the price of books to begin with. Now, books like, say, th that are going in the public domain. And you have Action Comics number one. And that came out in 38, 93 years after 1938, which I guess would be... Wait, someone give me a number here. Is that 2020... 1938, 93 years of 1938. We 20. Is it 32? I guess I don't know. 2032 or something. Uh, Superman, you know, Action Comics number one will go into the public domain. And what I'm curious about is what you think that will do to the collectability of, say, the Action Comics number one. I think there's another one going up on Heritage. The price is something like four million dollars. Uh, once that character is in the public domain and other people start doing Superman or whatever it is in that book, um, will the will the prices go up or will they go down? So it's something very interesting to discuss here. Uh, so I'm, you know, it's kind of a very curious about that because I would love to do have my take on that or at do something with that character. Why not? If it's in the public domain, whoa, shit. And that's what, I, that's what, so I'm drawing with these Beryl Prismacolor um, leads. And it's a very black, very super soft lead. Uh, it's not Beryl Prismacolor. Hang on, I'm going to just find this. Here it is. It's these. Okay. V super black. Um, and I'm drawing them in my, in my pencil. The problem is, is that the, the these these bad boys are so soft? Again, if I press really hard, I can get a black ink. I can get a black line that is almost like it, like ink, but it also adds a super softness to it, which which I just I love. And you can do a lot of gradations, a lot of shades, and the art just comes out very black. You know, not unlike a uh, like an ink line. And, uh, you know, and you can have more control over it with, uh, in regards to shading and stuff like that. So let's just do this throw that here. Um, but the problem is too, cause it's so soft and I am so heavy handed, um, that I break them all the time and usually in the most unfortunate of places. So we're going to have fun. We're, we're talking about a lot of things with Billy Tucci, doc, Billy Tucci, um, uh, Thursday Night Live with Billy Tucci. We're going to start looking at books. I'm going to start going through a bunch of books. One, I'm going to be going through the Senryaku Omnibus uh, edition just to show everyone what's in it and, and to go through it uh, and and go a little, maybe do a little memory lane, maybe invite some of the, the, the people that were on, on board during the making of it. And, you know, just, I mean, there's so much wonderful art in that book. And we're just about done fulfilling of that. Uh, we got a lot of late orders, and thank you all for that. Who, for those of you that did come in late, uh, but uh, we're going to be ending it. It's almost done. I think there's a few. Uh, some people didn't fill out their surveys. We do surveys through Backer Kit, which speeds it up. So you'll notice that some of you got the book immediately, and some of you haven't, and maybe you ordered early, but you still haven't received your book. That's because you you got to fill out your Backer Kit survey. And then a lot of people are like I already filled out my survey from Indiegogo, and and I get it, I totally get it. It's a pay, but it's only like ten seconds to fill it out. But that then makes us have to do it manually. Uh, if you can do it the other way, uh, it's a lot faster. Like for our thirtieth anniversary original art edition, um, which is at the printer and which will be arriving at the studios, we, it is scheduled to arrive on the 29th. Hope we get a little bit sooner. Um, because we're going to be at that tournament <laughs> in New Jersey on the 29th. Um, so, but even if it's here, we'll get it on that Monday, which I guess what April Fool's Day or something. Yeah, because my son's birthday is on third on is on um, uh, Monday, which is uh, Easter Sunday. Non-orthodox Easter Sunday, of course. So, uh, 
All right, Garner Loudermick, how are you, Garner? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Sa Sanchez, what's up, brother? Good to see you, my friend. I wish we uh, we had uh, James Sanchez coming back down to San Diego. We have some good times there, brother. And if anyone's going to San Diego Comic Con, let me know. Um, I would love to see if we can maybe even do like a little meetup, say, on a – well, we all do a hangout on Sunday. But even on a – you know, on a Thursday night, you know, we get a little drink, before, you know, after the con ends or something like that. Decompress, hang out and chill out. Could be cool, man. Uh, my wife is in the chat on the Facebook and she says his birth birthday is actually on Sunday. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, I want to go on Twitter because this is the first time I'm streaming on the Twitter. And I'm my wife is calling me right now. Look. Hello, dear. She hung up on me. Dr. Blevins, where's my invite? I just sent it to you. Book face bro. Brian Blevins, God love him. God love him. There he is. Ha. Speak of the devil. Yeah. What is uh what is going on? Not much. I'm gonna move you. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna move you. Oh, how can I do this? <laughs> because you should be looking at the art. But oh well. So how you doing, brother? Man, I'm doing right, man. Still uh still just reeling over that incredible show we had last night. That was a great show. How you feeling? Yeah. I know you got yourself a cough. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little little under the weather a little bit. Uh yeah, when you sent me the, I sent you a message on here, and then I went to the bathroom, and uh, I didn't, I didn't see you send me the link. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, the uh, yeah, I had uh, the great Renzini was just here, and now he's heading back over to the office to fulfill because he had to put together our lithographs and uh, for the new campaign, and uh, there's like some photoshopping that has to be done that he had to take care of, so he was doing that. Good old and, great uh, but, Man, I gotta see if I maybe if I go bigger on this. I am drawing literally. Is that better for you guys? I am literally drawing flat right now. When is Anna going to Japan for a showdown? First of all, Joseph Fazio, another brother from the old country. Thank you for the two dollars. Yeah, some people chat. we haven't seen here in a minute. No, she, I also yeah, see Dan Genovese on here too. What's up, Dan? The great Gen Dan Genovese is here. Um, uh, Joseph, Anna Ishikawa is going to. Okay, so our next crowdfunding campaign launches next month, and it is She Gatecrasher by me and JC Vaughn. Um, that uh, is going to be our April release. Come. Uh, August will be she the ghost with the green eyes. Um, that's when Anna goes back to returns to Japan. So Anna goes to Japan um, uh, to to actually confront her birth mother. If you guys have read the Return of the Warrior trilogy, and that will be written by the great Stephen Peros. Uh, so Steve's going to be coming uh, here, I guess, in the spring. Yeah, apparently a lot of a lot of people are after girls with green eyes, and old old you know what old Jack Burton always says. You you darn tootin', you can tell him what he said. Like old Jack Burton's gonna show up in this. Old this Jack Burton will show up with a Mac Ten. <laughs> Shoot, no, what's that guy's name? What's the uh, what's the uh, Kim Cattrall? Huh? No, not Kim Cattrall. The old guy. The, the, the I got his autograph. Or something. Oh no, I can't remember. I can't remember his name. Speaking of Blevins, I have all your autographs from all these shows that I went to that you asked me to get, and I keep forgetting to send them to you. That's all right, man. I got the Thundercats guy. Got Larry Kenny. Who else do I got? Who'd you ask me to get? Uh, man, I can't remember. There was there was a couple, and you, you, said, you, you said you did it. I want to see the Twitter and see how many people are actually watching. I don't know if you can check that. Yeah, I'll check. I'll check the tweets. The old Twitter, the old Twitter verse. Yeah, because I've never streamed on Twitter, and Aaron LaPresti mm -hmm. said that a lot of people watch on Twitter. We could have just said if you're in Twitter, like shout out. Yeah. Well, we got two hundred and we have uh two hundred and thirty-four people watching right now. Thank wow. you guys. Hey man, can y'all go yeah. come over to uh <coughs> you got 175 people? Thank you guys. 
Thank you, everybody out there on the Twitterverse watching away. A little tweet verse. A little tweet verse. We're going to be drawing the butt. That's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, there ain't nothing flat about that. We're going to add some shading and make it nice. So thanks for joining me, Dr. B. Dude, man, I, I mean, I'm just in here uh, coughing my brains out like it worked out worked out well for me. Yeah, I hate, so, you're, not, I hate you're not doing uh, Billy Tucci Thursday nights because I really like the, uh, you know, like I've been, you you know this, but I've been really big into trying to figure out how to, <coughs> how to solidify and develop a secondhand market for these, you know, for these, um, you know, crowdfunding books. Because mm. I mean, you really can't get like, you really can't get a a higher value. Than what the book is, because I mean, you're already paying 25 bucks for a book at some at some portions, you know. I do. So it's like it's like, well, what is what is the higher end? You know, what is the? I say that's the, the higher end. What do you think of that? Yeah, that is a high end. All right, that's the high end right there, buddy. That's some grade A, grade A chopped liver. No, grade A beef. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Man, we have two. We have a good time, don't we? Anywho, so uh, to follow up, so we Marcus got a lot of stuff coming out. We're actually looking at that. You know, this is she's thirtieth anniversary, um, and she actually I don't even know what today's date is. Today's March twenty first. Twenty first on the twenty third of March this Saturday. Literally, literally is the is she's thirtieth anniversary when she first made her way to comic book shelves thirty years ago. Man, she didn't. She didn't look a day over thirty. Thank you. So, um, uh, so we were thinking of doing a thirtieth anniversary issue, right? Called the Twelve Months of She. And uh, starting next month, though, because we just we got just too much going on this month. But we're gonna do a new She book every month, right? But it's like She number one with a new cover by me. Thirtieth anniversary edition She number one. Thirtieth <coughs> anniversary She number two. Number two. 30th anniversary, she number three. And just do these special, limit them, limit them to 99 copies. You know, low pan, that's what it was. <laughs> yep. um, limited to only 99 copies each. And just do some badass, you know, some, you know, some old, good old, good old timey she, you know what I'm saying? I do. Now, Billy, let me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question about old, old she since coming up to the 30th year, right? Yeah. So back when you first submitted this, you you were saying like nobody wanted to really do anything, and you end up having to get money from other you know from other sources because you really believed in this. Yeah, you friend, really yeah. in your story, and um, so so like you become this huge success, right? Was there was there any people like that were high names in comics at the time? That were just basically like you're a one hit wonder. Oh like yeah, they tell you they ever tell you that to your face? They tell me that they told it to uh to to fans. And I and there's one of them that I could name, but uh, I don't know, man. I still want to name it. Still want to name it, but I but I wasn't there. But he came up and told me that yeah. Well, we'll see where that guy's going to be, and that character is going to be in a year. <laughs> <laughs> and where's that guy at? Uh well he ain't as he ain't as famous as the other guy that created Deadpool so who's all over oh. the place now so I don't know that's all I'm saying dang what dude there's I'm some saying, there's some uh, there's some um, some discrepancies over who created Deadpool like they got a lot of people putting their names in the hat saying they did it we know the one person who created Deadpool but there's a lot of you you know the writer the writer said oh yeah I did that. Yeah, right. Come on, bro. Well, I don't know. When they like early sketches and all, and but that see, that's the whole thing is that you know you hear from people, you know, a lot of stuff. Like I said, that like the Fantastic Four, you know, like and old Rob Liefeld even see, you know, so much of that was Kirby, and then Stan would go in and throw in his his Stansism. You know what I mean? And Stan yeah. was a better writer, obviously, than Jack. You know, Jack, you know, but Jack, the visuals was all Jack, but who created the actual team? Was it Jack who created? Like, okay, this guy is going to be, you know, uh, you know, a rock guy, Clay Fate, you know, whatever they call him. What'd they call him, that that version of him? The uh, putty <laughs> one or something? Cool. Dude, 
Statistical Zero said Dirty Harry created the Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true stat. So I was at a show once, right? And this cute girl, she was a cosplayer or something. I don't know, Sailor Moon. She's looking at my prints and stuff like that. And then she buys a couple of prints. And as she's leaving, she turns around. She goes, you draw cute butts. You draw nice butts. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Well, I practice a lot when I'm alone. Damn. What? <laughs> I said, damn. Yeah, I can say that, man. What are you... Yeah, that's why I like when I call you. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? You're like, just drawing butts. Strong butts. I think I'm gonna and go turn and this I cannot, light on. And I cannot me. lie. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm gonna turn this light. Oh, I got this light. Let's see if this helps. It did not. <laughs> yeah, that helps. That helps me because I'm trying to draw. I'm, I'm using reflective light and stuff. You but, uh, guys, we have 263 lie. people watching, 180 or so on X. You guys on YouTube, please um <laughs> smash that like <laughs> button. Hit the bell for notifications and uh, subscribe to the Pop XP. Whoa. Did you guys have no idea how incredible some of the talent that we have lined up to come on the show? Dude, like, I on. mean, I mean, like, you know, it, it's so crazy. Like, uh, you know, the pedigree of the shows and the guests that we've had on should already be speaking for itself. And I don't I don't understand why, like, people just don't. I don't know why they don't recognize it. Maybe it's me. I don't maybe, know. They, maybe they don't like OB Live. Maybe they don't like you, bro. Could be. Dude, so but, uh, anyway, so Dan, uh, uh oh no, who was it that asked? Someone that he super chatted us about when does she go to Japan? Uh Joe Joseph uh, Fazio. Um, yeah. so then in October, we're gonna do the, the sequel to Ghost with the Green Eyes, and that's gonna be um she uh battleship island so uh that's that and that series might be two issues i'm not sure before steve and i we gotta we gotta figure it out and see because for january of 2025 i really want to launch a new ip mm -hmm. i have a new a new character which debbie says is the best thing i've ever created dude man i can't wait i've been waiting. i know people you know, you, know, you know i've been saying it for a while I want to see some new. I want to see some new Billy Tucci stuff. Well, you guys are going to see a lot of Billy Tucci stuff. Um, starting in June, uh, we're going to be in comic shops. Uh, starting in, in we we already are in comic shops for I believe for April. We took May off, but we're going to have June is our next one, which will be the She Omnibus edition. For those of you who missed the Omnibus, we're offering that again through previews, and then July we start with um. The She Return of the Warrior number chapter one number one. Man, it's that's my birthday. My birthday shop. month. My birthday month. Yeah. She gotta have him. San Diego Comic Con for your birthday. Yep. I can't believe you've never been. Well, I'm trying to trying to change that this year. Well, you let me know. But uh, you know, like I'm getting ready to to reopen you the let game. Let me know because you could be a panelist, man, on the, on the <laughs> anniversary panel. Can yeah, you guys I'm, see uh, this? Okay, I know the angle's off, but can you guys out there see this? Let me know if you can. Dude, um, it, looks, it looks great, Billy. Hey, Kaylani, what's going on? My friend Kaylani's here. How you doing, Kaylani? Good to see you, honey. Um, I know it's kind of dark. It's kind of weird. But uh, thank you. We've got 279 people watching right now. Everybody go out to share. Um, uh, cool, th great news about, um, I'm going to share screen, our new campaign, our latest campaign, which is the She 30th Anniversary, uh, She number one 30th Anniversary Original Art Edition is now live. We are in demand with this book. For those of you wondering what I'm doing right now is I am doing our she binder that we have for sale right now uh, up there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a trading card binder, and it comes with one exclusive trading card. So the back of the binder is going to be, um, you know, she front, which is this art right here. And the back is going to be this. She's back. So I guess nice. I'm doing the butt. So I'm drawing the butt. No butt. But uh, <laughs> so uh, if I want to make this smaller, though, I want to make... Let's see what I play with some things here. Anyway, 
So if you guys could check out that campaign, it will be closing soon. Um, our, 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 the books will be arriving next week here at our Crusade offices. We start fulfilling the week after that. Um, very, very excited. Uh, first week in April, getting our supplies and picking up all of my hot flap, hot flips mailers, which are larger, more stable, um, and better built, uh, than your normal, your average Gemini mailers. Mm -hmm. Everything in this campaign is either at the printers, at the production or already complete. And we have them in our new offices and we're just waiting for them to come in. Uh, specifically this big guy right here, this 112 page oversized badass book, um, which is, uh, 90% of it is artwork that has never been seen. Well, I don't know if you could say that because, uh, let's just say how about two thirds of it has never been published before. How about that? That's Dang. good, right? A lot of cool. Two -thirds is pretty good. Added. And uh, here we are over. Oh, thank you. Over forty one thousand dollars, guys. Approaching forty two thousand uh, dollars. Again, guys, thank you all for who have supported. Um, Kickstarter did sixty two thousand, uh, almost sixty three thousand in its uh, twenty eight day campaign. And you guys uh, out there who have supported us, thank you so much. Two hundred ninety one. We are almost at three hundred thousand viewers. Thank you very much. See, this one works. There you go. Let's see if I can do this one. Nope. I'm trying to figure out the best way to show the art. I guess that's the best way to do it. Yeah, Again, guys, I have to have my camera off a little bit just because um, it's in my face right here. See that? I got my light and my camera in my face. Is that tough, Blevins? How about that? If like, I said that, you better get out of my face, dude. Am I starting to look like the Zodiac Killer or what with these glasses and this? No, I don't want to. I don't want to confirm or deny that because I don't want to have to. I need my. Like, I don't need glasses. I, I really, need, like, I really do think I look like a murderer. Who else knows about that? Oh yeah, B Lev does. I yeah, B Lev. Yeah, Mark Cooper. Who do I look like, DB Cooper or the Zodiac Killer guy? Man, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, uh, you look like. Uh, God, I can't think it was. I can't think Michael it was. Michael Douglas and Falling Down. These are my Falling Down Douglas. glasses. Remember Dude, the glasses? Michael Douglas and Falling Down. Is... And they're, they're like 1.75 and, and they make everything like they super big because I'm doing all these little details. and. <laughs> so I saw a, I saw a, um, a fake trailer, but apparently they're doing a remake, uh, a 10 episode remake of The Running Man. Dude, do you want me to do the running man? Right? <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. Who loves you and who do you love? Killian. Dude. Did you yes. see the running man, dude? Man, I've seen yeah. running man like more times than probably a lot of other shows. One of my favorite lines is like when he goes, he goes, Killian. And Killian, Killian. Goes, and, he goes, and he's like, I'll be back. And Richard Dawson says, I'll get a rerun. <laughs> <laughs> Only in a rerun, brother. I got um uh, so I, <coughs> I did it for Thursday night live, and I think and me, Aaron Lepresti, and Andy Smith all appeared in a comic book. Dang. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And I think, and this is the book right here. Let's see if I got a, a, a picture of it by itself. Nope, right here. Yeah, you got to watch the unrated version. That's the best one. Yeah. Dream so Team. We, from we, we, we were in. So I can make that big. Come on, there we go. Boop. So I can make it big. The Marvel Dream Team. Let me, let me stop. I'm uh, going to stop screen. Add the new one. There you go. So this was a book that was done uh, by uh, uh, Malibu. I think published it. Marvel was it was Marvel Universe. So I guess it's a Mar it's a Malibu. Uh, no, I mean book. that's like that's definitely a, a team up between uh, 
between Marvel and uh, Ultraverse. Yes, yes. So I was, mm -hmm. I was, I was invited to be a part of this. <coughs> well, nice. The editor called me up, and I don't know if Jimmy said, "Hey, you should get Billy to do this. Get She in here." I don't know, but they were like, "We need She in this book." It's ninety-five, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'd love to be a part of it." When do you need it? And it was like a Wednesday, and they're like, "Can you get it done by Friday?" <laughs> oh, man. So I'm like, "Really?" So I'm like, I love, you know, I love Psylocke. Uh, can I do Psylocke? And then they told me um, Shuriken was the other character who I was not familiar with. Mm -hmm. So I drew Sh Psylocke, She, and Shuriken. I don't know where that damn original art is, too. But um, probably sent it to them to color it and I never saw that bad boy ever again. You know what I mean? Yeah. How things happen back in the day. Probably sitting in the Marvel, Marvel vault right now. Yep. So we're going to go through this book page by page, and I'm going to invite – Old Aaron Lepresti and uh, Art Andy T. Bear Smith. Andy and Smith. Andy Smith. So Art T. Bear, Andy Smith. I think I'm almost positive Andy Smith was in was in this too. Mm. Well, we can find out. Let me let me let, I'll let you know. Let's see if I click this off. Let's see here. So you have uh, Tick, She, Madman, Ash, Pinup Book. Um, so you had Carlos Pacheco. You have. Um, Sludge Hulk by Sean McMass. Sludge is in there a couple of times. Uh, Ghoul Captain America by Aaron Lepresti. See? So Aaron Lepresti's in there. Yeah. Um, let's see if Andy Smith was a part of this. I don't know. But if Andy Smith was a part of this, let me tell you something. There's Art T. Bear. I'm going to have old Andy Smith on the show, too. And we're going to talk about doing this book. And we're going to go through every page because this is a phenomenal list of artists. You've got John Romita Jr. Uh, you got uh, Steve Scrochi. You've got um, uh, let's see, uh, Joe Casada, Jimmy Pamiati, of course. Uh, you've got Fireman Daredevil by Mike McCone and Mark McKenna. You've got uh, Cully Hamner with Solitaire and Punisher. F Henry Flint, not Flint Henry. Uh, Tim Sale. Gary Frank, say. look at this, Val Semeckis, Dan Panosian, Mike Waringo, bro, and Terry Austin. Jeez. Tick, look at this, you got the Tick, Prime, and Hulk by Ben Endlin. Was this after Norm, ben Norm Brayfogel? Norm Brayfogel, he passed by then, I guess? Yes, he did. Norm passed away. That sucks. I got to tell you something, I used to get some arguments with, with Norm. Well, Norm would argue with me. I didn't really argue with Norm at all. <laughs> like, just... And he was yelling at us all about Obamacare. And then he never got it. <laughs> and he passed away sadly because and he never he never signed up for it. <laughs> it's like you're defending this because I was bitching that, you know, being a, a small business owner, mm -hmm. we lost we lost our uh insurance, you know? Yeah. A bunch of times now. And and I'm like, this sucks. And then he's like, sucks. What are you kidding me? This is the greatest thing, blah, blah. I mean, he was a huge Obama guy. And uh, and then when he was trying to raise money, and he was like, "Yeah, sadly, I didn't uh, I didn't listen to my own advice, and I never actually applied for health insurance, even though it was for free." Dang. So there's like a lesson. So get your health insurance, people. So I found I found the uh, the people that took your likeness. So uh, are you familiar with Mortal Kombat? I am familiar with Mortal Kombat. They use your likeness for Raiden for Mortal Kombat 10 and Mortal Kombat 11. Again, oh man. Who's that company that puts them out? Uh, Nether Netherscape. Yeah, I wonder what we got a check from Nether, them. Nether Realm. I got a check from Nether Realm for $14 million one time. Dang. I was like, why did they send me this? Why send me this? You got something you're going to share, or are you just making that up and saying that? Oh, no, I'm being dead serious. Well, are you going to share it? Yeah, yeah. Give me one second. Let me pull it up. 303 viewers. Thank you, guys. What do you guys think of my, uh, my sketch? Do you, do you guys like these live streams where I'll sketch, um, talk about stuff? Maybe we'll start to, to – uh, I want to start doing some reaction videos um, to things that are going on the YouTube or things in the nude. In the news, <laughs> things in the nude. In the nude, that's things a cute button. She's gonna have a cute button. This bad boy. It's a cute button. It happens. But I'll have to shade. But when I shade this and start working on the butt, I'm gonna have to do that when I'm by myself. Yeah, I'm trying to find. I need to watch. Probably watch some of the the videos of this. But uh, yeah, here. Let me see if I can. 
Let's see if I can share. You do present, right? Share screen. Right, share screen. All right, John Hans, find a very, very uh, therapeutic. Oh, Dan Genovese, yeah. dig Z screens. Thank you, Dan Genovese. There you go, Billy. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Bro, that look like me. What? You think that looks like me? Dude, if you saw this, like if you saw this in work, you would think that you were sitting there acting, acting this out. Well, dude, you know, I am an actor. I don't even know that. I do know. I do know that. <laughs> Never had a lesson. Never had a lesson. <laughs> Self taught. <laughs> so taught. Just like just like dancing and singing. Never had a lesson. Never had a lesson in my life. So the reason why I'm doing this with these barrel prisma color pencils is because this very first one was done like that. So I gotta match it. So right. what we're doing, for those of you who just joined us, thank you for 310 viewers, guys. Uh, we only got 16 likes. Come on, y'all. Sl slap that. Sl smack that like button. Please, smash it. Um, is that we're doing with the new campaign, the She um, uh, Return of the Warrior number one 30th anniversary original art uh, campaign, is that we're doing a trading card binder. And I'll share it real quick. And uh, blah, 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 blah. here we go. Booyah. So the, 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 the binder actually um, is down here. That's the binder. <laughs> so, and what comes with the binder? And the, and the binder, the front of the binder, obviously, is she walking towards you. The back of the binder, as Debbie said, why don't you do that, is she's back. So that's what I'm doing. I'm drawing the back of the binder right now, which... Yep. I'm thinking about making that the trading card for the um, for the exclusive card because there is an exclusive card card which is offered um, with this book, and uh, I think how cool would it be, Doctor B? Uh, I gotta do my ankle. Um, I, wanna, Man, I love I love when I get when I get fancy free stuff. So um, it's gonna be uh, uh, this might be the trading card. Uh, would be she's back with the butt. So um, yeah, I, don't know, I think chat. it's kind of cool. And I'm like, yeah, let's do that. That'd be a fun, that'd be a cool drawing. You got a super chat, Billy. Oh, we got a super chat. So lazy. Hello. Hang on. Thank you for that $2 super chat. So lazy. Last night, That's show a 20, $20, $20 super chat, Billy. $20 super chat. Holy crap. Thank you so much. So lazy. Last night's show with July and Pamiati and Scala and Blevins, right? Can I add that there, buddy? Right, you should. Um, was awesome. Jimmy has got to be on more often. Mm -hmm. Hashtag she strong. 100%. Um, I like to have Jimmy on for that stream uh, going through as we go through that Marvel mat, that, that dream team book that we did. Um, thank you so much for that $20 super chat. Um, which goes up in the super chat verse somewhere because I don't know where this money all goes. Um, but thank you so much for that. Yeah, Jimmy's great. Um, I got to meet Eric, Debbie, and I met Eric in San Diego. Uh, and you couldn't have met a nicer guy. Uh, it was really nice meeting him. Uh, I'll be going on his show. And, um, and of course, Jimmy. Jimmy's just one of my best friends for 30 years. A, a great creator in his own right. Uh, and I'm looking forward to doing some more work with Jimmy. Um, and stay tuned because 2024 is going to be a fun year. Got a lot of things going on, uh, in the, in the Tucci verse. And, uh, old Jim Pamiati might be, might be a part of one of them, but we'll see. San Diego Comic-Con is coming up. A lot of cool things for that. Um, I'm going to do a, a, a special edition. Uh, oh, that's a piece of art I just found, Dr. Blevins. We'll see it. Not big yet. Watch it. 
So, what's up, Chad? Have you guys seen uh, Roadhouse yet? It came out at midnight last night on Prime with Jake Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Conor McGregor. It was pretty good. Oh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Look at this, what I found. Jake Gyllenhaal. This art. This is hand-painted. Wow. I painted this. It, it, it's definitely with, uh, with um, uh, like, Higgins dyes, Higgins inks. And uh, this was used for the first she, for the second she ad ever. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see if I, I got the overlay here. <laughs> oh, I got to tell you, I love this stuff, man. Let me go back. Let me pop up a little bit and show you guys this stuff that I've been finding. Um, I'm going to turn. Uh, let me stop sharing the screen for the campaign. There you go. Hang on. Stuff, stuff's just falling all over the place. Leave. This is my daredevil story, a new beginning that I, for my submission. What? Okay, so here's, so this I is for, the, the, this is going, we're going back now, Scala. We're going back to 1994. Apparently we're going back to the other day when Scala was on. Yeah. So <laughs> this right here, Scala. Tomorrow's Crusade is an interview. This is an interview that Peter Gutierrez and I did for, um, uh, what was the name of it? Um for Heroes World, I did that drawing. So this is all me drawing, draw uh, original drawings on the the ad, and this is how we would this is how we would do things back in the day. Nice. So here's the original she ad. This is for she number two. Um, so I did this cool little so high warrior. Uh, that I guess I th this is in the can in in the book actually I think. So I think I just Xerox that. But Masahiro Rashi, the villain of 1994. So look, here's here's the ad. Look, comics. So this is what we did for June, buddy, because I wanted She Way the Warrior number one came out in uh, March of 1994. As I said, March 23rd, 1994. I wanted I wanted to solicit She Way the Warrior number two, She number two, in June when She number one was already on the stands. You know what I'm saying? I do. Because most people think, okay, I got to do a book. If it's bi-monthly or if it's monthly, you do issue number one for March. You naturally do number two, let's say, for April. Well, traditionally speaking, comic sales drop by half, correct? You know, because they just, number two drops, drops by half from number one. I wanted number one to be in the stack, on the shelves when they saw that book up there and then said, oh, my God, this is a cool book. I didn't know that people were going to like it, but this was just me being, you know, uh, just enthusiastic about it. I just was confident this book was was going to do well, was going to be a, a big book. So, um, uh, for the so instead of doing for 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 April, instead of doing for May, I put she number two was available in June, and here is the ad right here. Look at this. So, nice. <laughs> it's the ad. Look at that. That was in there. Now, this is probably for Diamond. I don't think this was for, for Heroes World. Crusade bursts onto the comic scene last month with its premiere title, She. With a combination of fast-paced storytelling and dynamic artwork, critics and fans rewarded She by buying out of its 50,000-copy print run. Now she's back burning up the pages with She Way the Warrior number two. Nice. Um, badass. And our orders... Um, for she number two were eighty thousand, so they were bigger mm -hmm. than she number one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's so insane. finding all this cool stuff, you know, open this up the wrong way, and um, this is cool. What's this? Sylvester Stallone and Sharon Stone are in a, in a specialist. The specialist? What the hell am I looking at here? Let's see why I have this newspaper. That had butt in it. Uh, I don't know. It's got to be something. Some reason for it. I might like Sharon Stone's face. I like that'd be a cool cover. Yeah. Yeah. Like a cool pose. That's probably what it was. Ran. Remember, ran my. Uh, and I had that. Yeah. Kira, Kira Kurosawa, man. Yep. That's what the character's name was supposed mm -hmm. to be. So then I have these are just pages of number one and stuff like Oh, look at this. Anybody recognize this bad boy? It's she. Well, uh, Xerox from the, from the uh, Ran. Look, she's known as Ran. 
And the page of the Razor Annual number one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. What's this? Oh, look. I didn't even see, Look at this. This is a little sheet drawing I did. Look at that. Nice. It's like 1993. I'm just seeing this stuff for the first time. <laughs> look how cute she is just sitting there. Got to do something with that. Got to like this face, I'm sure. Hmm. With that. Like for a cover idea? Yeah. That's the hell we got here. This is all the Xerox and number one cover. Crusade Comics is our first ad. Mr. James Isley. Uh, -oh. uh it was it March 23rd, 1994? From Crusade Comics, formerly Empire Publications. Uh for she number two. So when the day she number one hit the stands is when I saw the solicitation for she number two. <sighs> How about that? Look at that. Look at this fun stuff, man. These were the days, man. These were the days. Look, Larry Shell, James Isley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got to tell you, Dr. Blevins. These were the days, my brother. Dude, I believe it. These were the days. Oh, so this a lot of this cool stuff is going to be in the new she, um, the, the script book that we're putting out. A lot of people are going to be waiting. A lot of people are going to be waiting for June to show up so they can get the next issue. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my letter to my printer telling her about the book, March 17th. Mm -hmm. After the book was printed, where to do it, you know? Oh, no, here are all the. So look, Dr. Blevins, this is how fast things used to be printed. This is March 17th, 1994. Here are all the separations. So she got the color separation March <coughs> 17th, so was able to ship out. Um, I guess, and be in stores on the 23rd. Crazy. They used to ship things in a day. They would make books in, in two, three days. Now it takes two, three months. Crazy. It's insane. Crazy. 329 of you guys watching. Thank you so much. 17 likes. Come on. Smash that like button, please. And uh, let's, let's just keep drawing. All right, Billy. Money. With all the success that she had, and you had that uh, that money coming in, and you're putting it right back into the book so you can make more of them, right? Yes, sir. What was what was the one big splurge that you did? Because everybody talks about when they hit the when they hit the big money. You know what I'm saying? Like they always splurge on one thing. Like what was what was the one big thing that you could have lived without, but you definitely uh you definitely splurged to buy because you're like I'm Billy Two G. Oh my god! Well, San Diego Comic Con. 94, right? I never bought anything. And then 94, I was able to buy some animation cells. What? I got them over here somewhere. What? I, yeah, I bought a Ninja Scroll one. But I don't know if you're going to know who these, this anime is, Dr. Blevins. I don't think you're going to know who these are. I might not know. But I like these cells, and I bought them. I don't know if you've ever seen this character right here, but... Hmm. And that Battle Angel Alita? I don't think so. It's not? I thought it was. Someone tell me who this is. Sure that's up? Battle Angel Alita? Right? So I bought that. And I bought this one. This one is from, oh, I forgot the name of it, but it was badass. Bo's like, you got to buy that. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. I don't know if you guys should know this. Marcus Pilgrim said that's that that's that uh, legendary transformative anime called Hookers and Blow. <laughs> hey, honey. Hi. Um, I'm heading over to the office. Okay. Matthew has to be at wrestling. He should be there by like seven thirty-five. Okay. So like seven fifteen-ish, you leave. Okay, seven fifteen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hi. Uh, oh, Dr. Hey, Blevins says hi. Blevins, how are you? So I bought this. Yep. Rocketeer helmet mold. Right. Right? Got this Amazing. bad boy. Amazing. And then I bought a, a couple of G.I. Joes, uh, uh, original G.I. Joes. One was the German, one was uh, Africa Core German, and the other one was like a regular G.I. Joe. That's why I spent you my money. You're talking about the 10-inch. What other G.I. Joes are there, bro? Well, there's the 6-inch G.I. Joes. Yeah, come on, dude. From, from the Nobody cartoon. Cares about that. Those are, those are gay, dude. Sorry. They don't kill anybody. They killed Duke. They killed Duke? That's a bad guy killed during, Duke. Then. 
No, Duke is a good guy. He got right. They killed him though. They he didn't took a, him, he, he took a snake. He took a snake to the chest from Serpentor. Serpentor. He said, and when he got hit, he goes, "Yo, uh, Joe." What did he say? Yo, uh, Joe. Yo, Joe. <laughs> yeah. And then Don Johnson had to go save the day. Don Johnson. Yeah, Don Johnson was the, was playing Duke's nephew. Wait a minute, Don Johnson's playing Duke's nephew? How old was Duke if John Johnson was his nephew? Was Duke like 105 years old? I don't know. I mean, this is just like... You sure it wasn't Duke's uncle? Don Johnson's been like 35 years old since like 1985. It was a young guy. He brought he brought a, he brought a date to the deal, and uh, Don Johnson brought a date to the deal, and they end up like, you know, basically breaking Serpentor free. And he's like he's like destroy everything but the broadcast energy transmitter. This I command, dude. I'm and that was when you that was when you get the that was when you get introduced to Pythona and Galobulus and Nemesis Enforcer, which dude, Nemesis I, I, Nemesis Enforcer was incredible. I gotta mute this guy, man. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I don't care. I don't think that's cool. <laughs> That's not so. And then they sent Don Johnson to go get to go get re. Uh, he had to go get. Um, he had to go get retrained by Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did. Sergeant Slaughter never was in the service. I am going to look on Twitter. Anyone chatting on Twitter or like when when you stream on Twitter? Do they chat or do they comment or anything like that? Um. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So I see I see you hosting and I don't see any any comments. All right. Well guys, thank you for who well, are watching us on Twitter. Thank you so much. Um but I also see Pop XP hosting. Yeah. I did it on both of ours. I figure since I got a bigger audience on the Twitter than the Pop XP. But yes, that was a that was a fun show. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed it. Um, well, I missed most of it. But we've got, like I said, my son's got a few wrestling tournaments left for high school uh, before college. So um, we got to start. He's got like two or three of them, I think. So uh, he's and and he he's been he's got injuries. Um, pretty significant injury, so he hasn't really picked it up until like last week. He started wrestling again, <clears throat> and not even a full week. So he's he's under intense. He's wrestling every day this week, and then he's got a tournament, and he's wrestling up. He's wrestling up a week because he's going to wrestle one twenty six in college. So he's wrestling one twenty four um, here, and he'll do that at the war at the short too. But he's normally one sixteen, so he's got to start. Putting on the poundage. You know what I'm saying, Blevins? We know about that, don't we, brother? Dude, I know all about putting on the poundage. Get him to go to Chipotle. I need to lose some of the poundage. Bro, do tell. Me too, man. Me too. Man, I'm like 890 pounds. Yeah, you got to lose like 928 pounds, 7 ounces. Ugh. Hey, let's say hello to some of our friends here. We got uh, the great Michael Kellison. What's up, brother? Mike's like tacos. Digging the tacos, homie. Uh, Eric like Muller. What's up, brother? My kilted warrior pal there. Um, it's good to see you. I'm looking forward to seeing you this year at Baltimore Comic Con. Um, who else is in here? Stat Zero, of course. Paul Harley. Good to see you, too. Uh, Jado Jaga. Uh, blue check marks can chat. That's cool. Alma pipes. Hello, Alma. How are you? I hope you're well. Um, I wish I, I saw that you were there because I know Debbie would have loved to have say to have said hello to you. It's good seeing you in Arizona, and we're looking forward to coming back to Arizona um, for another con, hopefully next year, and seeing you. Maybe we can all go to dinner, which would be nice. And uh, Michael Kellison, great to see you, brother. Great to see you. Looking forward to seeing all Mike Kellison. Uh, um, uh, not Mike, Mike Kellison. Uh, Marcus Killigrew in Heroes Con. Scal, uh, Dr. B, think you can make it? 
Heroes got, Con? You got three months to get mm -hmm. in shape for it. I guess. Like, I'm going to try to hit uh, South Carolina Con this year. Oh, I'm not doing that one, so. Yeah. But then I can just go straight up to Heroes Con. Which sucks. I wonder if I can, if it's not too late to do that. Because we were supposed to do, like I said, the senior nationals, but I think with his injuries, he probably shouldn't do it. And if he doesn't, maybe I can get, get in on uh That's kind of soon. But if Dr. Blevins is thinking about doing it. Yeah. Get old Cap going. Yep. And Andy Smith, I think, is doing it. Man, I'm going to have to make it. Give a get on now. Where is that in? Where Where is that? So, uh, Carolina, Greenville. Greenville? Yeah. Let me see something. It's the border, the borderlands. Yeah, yep. Yeah. One of the best cons in the country, let me tell you that. Yeah, that's why that's why I was like, yeah, you should definitely do it. Yep, I'm gonna see I'm gonna try to I'm gonna see if I could book a flight. I'm gonna see how much it is because I wouldn't want him to rob to if and if it's even too late. What's today? What's today, buddy? It is twenty first. South Carolina. And it's the sixth and seventh. What Charleston? How far is Charleston from that? Do you know? About an hour and a half. Okay, I think that's what I did last time. I might have flown in. So if I fly Charleston on, let's see, man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Only return date would be say here Monday. Let's see, one person. Dude, there's there's an actual Greenville airport though. Why would you not just fly into Greenville? Uh, I was just trying Southwest, so let me just see if there's that first. <laughs> Flights are not bad at all, actually. No. Oh, no. I got to stop at BWI. Uh, Greenville Airport, right? So let's say fly JFK to Greenville, South Kakalak. Right? Yeah, Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. It's GSP. Okay. Or or actually GMU. Well, I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna go on Delta right now and see about that. Let's look, I'm gonna see the next weekend. <clears throat> it's a great show, Dr. Blevins. You keep telling me. Okay, here's let's find some dates. No, I want to do my date, bro. Let's do my date. Okay, so the date is. Let's see. Four. Is it a, is it a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or just Saturday and Sunday? I think it's just a Saturday and Sunday, but I, would I like that. Friday. I like that. No, I like the sound of that. Is it clear? All right, here we go. Friday. And a return on Monday. Let's just see. Let's just see, buddy. Search. Come on. I think I gotta tell you, Dr. B, I think the old Blevins Media Center is getting a little tired. Do you put this computer through the ringer in this in this whole media Dude, center? That, I gave I gave you a brand spanking new computer. Oh dang! Then maybe that's me. I got to start getting rid of all this junk on here. Yeah, it's brand new. Brand spanking new. Whoa, brand they're very expensive. New. That's very expensive. Dude, mine that is seeing like six hundred dollar round trip first class. From where? From uh, from old. Uh, uh, Clinton International Airport to uh, to Greenville and back. Where's Clinton? In, oh, that's you. Yeah. Lit the Bill Clinton and and. Uh, and they really named that airport that fucking guy. Yes, they really named that airport after that guy. Holy man! Yeah, this is a five hour five hour flight. Shit. Mm. Dang, this is a seven hour fifty five minute flight. But see when I uh, but I know the BWI is uh pretty BWI is usually um a three hour layover. Select the next flight. Let's just see. Let's just see, dog. Yeah, it's kind of late. 
and at 410. And it wouldn't be that much money, I gotta tell you, buddy. If I flew from here, it wouldn't be. Yeah, that I'm much telling money. you, the prices are pretty inexpensive. They are. That they I mean, are. Yeah, and you can get first class. Well, you know, I ain't saying I'm, I ain't first class, but I ain't white trash. I'll tell you that. Well, but, if it was real and it was fun, but it wasn't real fun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, for you out there wondering what I'm drawing here, 349 th people watching. Thank you all out there. Good to see you guys. Um, I am drawing the butt. No, I'm drawing. She's back. Uh, this is going to be the angles off. Trust me, she ain't weird looking. She's in, she's perfectly proportioned. Um, it's what I'll be drawing here is, uh, I've got, this is the, the front cover to our, she trading card binder. And this is going to be the back. And I think I'm going to make the back our exclusive trading card for it. She's back. She's get it. She's back, bro. You get it. I got it. I think you got that one. I didn't want it, but I got it. Yep. <laughs> Dad jokes. Oh man. Oh, David Zatana, thank you. I pledge on both Indiegogo and Kickstarter, and I feel like clicking that link, Marcus. <laughs> thank you, Marcus Killigrew, and thank you, David. Now, we appreciate you guys back in our little – I know it's a specialty book, but you guys are going to love it. Um, it's uh, it's It's got so much extras. We're really proud of it. I'd say it is the most involved uh, and beautiful she book we've ever done. With, again, you've got – 70 plus pages of artwork that has never been seen before of my original inks the original colors without lettering on it all the color pages with lettering have been uh rescanned into uh and remastered by our wonderful designer mindy lopkin got old scalawags did a lot of work on it too designing the covers and everything yeah yeah got some good teams got old producer brian blevins thank you brother yep that? yep I did a little bit of Photoshop stuff, but you said it was horrible. Well, I didn't. I'm like, I've got to use it. Debbie's like, this looks like shit. I'm like, yeah, but. You're like, but it was Brian who Blevins did it. She goes, I don't give a fuck about Brian Blevins. I don't care. Damn. Yeah, I know. It's pretty. I was like, dang. That's what I said. I'm like, chill, sweetie. Sweetie pie. I call it like sweetie, like Obama called the reporter sweetie. <laughs> And instead of the, the, the woman blushing, like, oh, that's so cute. He called me sweetie. She, like, wanted to kill me, man. Yeah, I was feeling bad the other day, and, and I told you, you called me, and you're like, what are you doing, Brian? And I was like, man, I'm just not feeling very good. And I remember Deb came in, and she's like, she's like, what's Dr. Blev is doing? And you're like, he's not feeling good. She's like, good, F him. <laughs> I was like, wow. I know, dude. I'm like, I'm like wow, the, what is that about? Nah, she loves you, Dr. Blevins. You know that. I know. I know she does. We will set a date. I got to work some stuff for her, the wrestling dinner. Good idea. Let me text Deb. What night? And when was the last time you talked to old Soul off? Uh, today. Really? Yep. Talk to a soul off. And then he, I'm like, and then Debbie called in because uh, Renzini. And so here's what soul off does at San Diego. Anyone who goes to San Diego, Kiki's going to laugh at this. Um, uh, the hotels are, if you can get a hotel there, they're, <laughs> it's crazy. That's why everyone's so stressed out at San Diego. Uh, I guess those of us who exhibit are on our own uh, because you're talking I mean, we are literally twelve to thirteen thousand dollars in the hole before we even walk into that place. Um, with with booth with because everyone pays for everything. I mean, I was a guest a few years back when I got my ink pot, um, but for the most part, part everyone pays to get to, for themselves to get there. Uh, so uh, the prices though are just crazy. Hotel rooms are at least four hundred bucks a night. Um, it's just nuts. So. Uh, what Sola found is that there is, at the nearby San Diego Yacht Club, there's a marina. And and these guys rent out their boats. Yep. 
uh, you know, and Soloff rents uh, a big sailboat with, uh, you know, a beautiful sailboat. Um, and he stays there and he, and, and he, it's, it's probably, you got to take, it's probably a 15 minute, um, shuttle to the convention area. It's not right next to the con, but who cares, you know? Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, he said, it's amazing. And then like they had the, so, uh, I called him cause, uh, the great Renzini is going to be sharing, uh, a boat with Soloff. So that's that. So I talked to Soloff. Mm -hmm. And then Debbie called me because when she calls, I got to pick up because if I don't, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Motherfucker, man, ain't good. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so I'm like, Mike, hold on. Phone does work. Oh. I said, hold on. I said, I got Debbie calling. Hold on. And he said, okay. And then he hung up on me. He hung up on me. I didn't hang up on him. That's the truth, baby. That's, That's the truth. True. That's the truth, baby. That's the truth, man. That's the truth. That's the truth what does this fool mean on the telephone? This boy on the telephone. What does this boy mean on the telephone? I think it's time that we got to share a little. Uh... <laughs> 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 got a jet. Great, Water, great Dan. to see you. Hey, uh, Dan Genovese, got a jet. Thanks for streaming, Billy. Hail Blevins and the Almighty Chat. Good to see you, buddy. See you soon, pal. Yeah, I probably need to bounce too, Billy. I know. I think I'm gonna let's see. It's six thirteen. I'm gonna go a little bit longer. But if you gotta go, it's all good, brother. I'm just and, trying um, not to just trying not to get sick because I want to. Yeah, yeah. You gotta I'm take it easy, man. Show, so. All right, call me tomorrow, bro. Sounds like a plan. Talk right, to you buddy, later. See you later, later, chat. I got a lunch <laughs> meeting, so I'll be gone from about uh twelve to about two thirty-three. Dude, what is up with like we have the best chat? And the best show around. Dude, we got a great show, man. We got a very eclectic show. Um we have some of the best guests. Yep. I don't even I don't even get it. We got the best chat, man. You guys rock. Yeah. So I'm drawing some hair here. It's coming out pretty good, right? Can you guys see that? Yeah, yeah pretty solid. Yeah, we'll work on the butt. But I'm not crazy the about butt. this cheek right here. All right, bro. I'll talk to you later. All right, dude. Peace. Peace. Bye to fix this cheek right here. I'm just going to do that for now because I'm not really quite sure. This one works. <laughs> right? Life's tough, ain't it? I'm trying to figure out how to draw the, the butt. <laughs> just having too much gosh darn fun. I'll tell you that, guys. Too much gosh darn fun. Um. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can present here. Share screen. I can. Excellent. Let's do this. Let's go to my 30th anniversary campaign. Nope. That's not it. <clears throat> 30th anniversary is large edition. I'm going to share my little guy right here on my laptop right here. Boom. So let's share that. Boop. Boop. There you go. All right, guys. So um, that's a new campaign right there. It's our she uh, thirty number one thirtieth anniversary original art edition. What I am doing right now is uh, thank you guys for buying Debbie a drink because she needs one. She's all stressed out. Uh, right now, I am working on the cover to our she trading card binder, which is. I don't have the mouse on here, so I'm just scrolling down. Right there. So there's our trading card binder. Let's see how much it is. I don't even know how much it is. Oh, if I can do that and move down. Yeah, here we go. Um, the sheet trading card binder is is uh <clears throat> we've never done a well, we did a binder back in '95. So here it is. Um, it's uh 35 bucks. So it's gonna have the cover, which is is the she death walk image of her walking towards you. And then Debbie said, why not have the back? If I can do that. The back is, is she's back. So I'm actually going to put kanji on here. And the kanji will say uh, right there. The kanji will say she's back on it. So so I'm just drawing, drawing this bad boy. I'm going to finish this today. 
and then I have some a commission to do tomorrow. But I got to see um, uh, our the customer is a wonderful customer, a wonderful friend of the show, a big supporter of ours. And I think depending on what he ordered, I got to look at it. I might give him a cover instead because he's waited so long. Um, maybe give him a cover. So uh, I don't want to mention his name because I don't have permission his permission to mention his name. But uh, he follows us on Twitter and 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 uh, and our campaign all the time. So I'm just working on this, getting this bad boy done. I'm going to finish this tonight. Uh, no, I have my son has wrestling, so there will not be any. Uh, BillyTucci.com. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Thursday Night Live with Billy Tucci. There will not be any Thursday Night Live with Billy Tucci to, uh, tonight um, because I just I have this tournament. I, uh, I have my son getting ready for a tournament, and Debbie's got plans, so I have to go and, and take him, which I want to do anyway. I like I like taking him, watching him uh, practice, uh, and then. Uh, but I will start. Be, I will start doing regularly these draw streams if you guys like them. If you guys are into them, you guys think they're cool, we're going to do these draw streams. I got a lot of drawing I have to do. I have my commissions to finish. I have gate, She Gate Crasher, which we're launching next month, which I have um, 10 pages complete already, but I have to do the covers to it. Uh, and then She is back in comic shops. She Return of the Warrior number one uh, will be in comic shops this June, and I'm going to have to do the cover to that. Uh, plus our special editions, and I think Debbie and I were talking that we're going to be doing a 30th anniversary She Way the Warrior, uh, 12 Months of She, and that book starting next month, and it'll be She Way the Warrior number one with a new cover, uh, 99, cop, 99 editions only, She Way the Warrior number two with a new cover, 30th anniversary, except, you know, number three, number four, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that could be a really cool uh, collectible for everybody. So. Huh? Where am I at? I'm just trying to draw these things, get her done. Working on the butt. Working on the booty, if you will. Dude, this is not working. I, it's funny because when I draw, I think that it's the bees. Thank you, Alma. Thank you. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself, kid. Um. So uh, I, I move all over the place when I draw. I don't know if you guys, artists out there, uh, if you guys do the same thing, illustrators, cartoonists, but I don't know if it's ADD, but I was just about working on this hand and then I moved from the hand because something caught my eye here with her foot. So I, I'm <laughs> going to draw her foot. I'm like, I got I to gotta work on this foot. It all gets done, right? Helps the the process and getting the book done. I'll get my pencil here to work because she needs a little bit of a uh, there you go like that for a foot. A bit of her heel because here's her. And then this. Hold that. I don't know if you guys can see. I, again, it's very difficult because this camera is right here. <laughs> right here in my face. Um, so it's hard, really hard for me to draw. Because I'm trying to show you guys the, the art. Um, but I also need to draw it. I don't want to screw it up. Because if, if, if it sucks, you guys aren't going to buy this stuff anyway all right if anyone knows of any boom any cool camera type of things where the camera's not in the way it could be even higher or something like that um just message me or uh you know post it in the chat here because i I just have this, and, and the boom is good. It's good for the camera when it's on me, but it's it's very ungainly. 
very un, ungainly. So I think that works. Interesting how it's the back of the foot. So you're just getting really the her heel. Can you guys see that? Okay. You got to get her heel and the sole of her foot. Because this is her foot. You know, you got to get the whole of her foot, the ball of her foot. Oh, I like it. It's coming out nice. <clears throat> Guess I should use that too to keep it clean. We'll get this colored this week or by, you know, next week. And uh, I guess we'll make it into a trading card. I think it'd be cool. Would you guys, would you guys care for a, a card that's just she's back? Like you see her her butt and stuff like that. <laughs> Would you guys like that? I don't mind it, but you know, it's just, you're the customer. Let me know if you guys like that. I would love to see if we can do a lenticular card for it that would come with it. Um, and we'll have to make a few calls because I would love a lenticular card where it's actually the front and the back. Um, but we'll have to see about that. There it is. Okay, so it's like three. That's what I said three. So I'm basically doing the basics. I'll get to all the shading and everything like that um, later on. You know, when when I'm tonight or something when I get home. I don't know if anyone's streaming tonight. Uh, I guess trash. Oh yeah, you got you got trash cast. Then you have Jack Show. Um, not sure who else is streaming, but uh, check them out. Support those channels, guys. Support our friends. Another thing is that I'm drawing almost completely flat, and I can't draw completely flat at all. Uh, it's driving me nuts. There you go. Again, if you guys like these videos, please smash the like button. Thank you all for your wonderful support. Uh, it's been an amazing 30 years, which is crazy because I was only like, we so few of you know, is like only like 15 years old when she number one came out. Uh, are you doing finished pencils only now and by passing and bypassing inky art of Yes, what I'm doing here art is because this one was done, but they're done with my barrel prisma colors. So it's it's this type of, of a pencil. It's a black, super black, uh, super black that I can go so dark with it that it, it almost is like inks. It adds a beautiful watercolor feel to the book. And, and if you could see it, again, the lighting's not great, is that it's it looks like it's inked. Uh, but it's got a real nice softness to it, which, uh, which I love. And it, I, I do it because... It takes me longer to do things like this because I'm, I, I work up a lot of shading and all um, as opposed to just throwing an, an ink line in. Uh, but um, it, it makes it different than, than, you know, than just inking it because, you know, everybody inks. So why not do something a little different? And that's what I'm trying to do uh, with this book, with, the, with this, this image. So let's start doing her little quill thing here. Once I get better at these, we'll, we'll start doing some breaks. We'll start doing a little video breaks. Um, start throwing some snippets, maybe uh, a little bit of Paul Lind, if you will. <laughs> a little bit of comedy. I'm 
but it'll be uh, it, it'll be all greatly appreciated. And I will reach out to Rob to see if it's not too late um, for me to do his show. Uh, um, and I'll talk to Debbie about it because maybe for those of you who are in South Carolina, Greenville, that I could do the Greenville show. So, and I'm going to, uh, this is all going to be a lot of shading here because I've got to get the depth to see how her leg is bent. This leg is bent forward. I'm going to add some shading to that. Right now, I'm just working up her quilting. Um, and as you can see, this is going to be nice. A lot of shading here. With the, bring the shading down a little bit. I'm going to start doing that. Whoops. I have a brush somewhere, but it's covered underneath this table, so I can't clean up. I got to clean up on aisle three. Okay. And then I got to draw this hand here. Let's do the hand. So the thing I do, I draw with two pencils in my hand all the time. I think I'd be a lot better if I just put one down, don't you think? Again, it's got to mirror this page, so I'm drawing things backwards, which is kind of fun. Let me get with my hand to see how that would be. Yeah, you would see that. I'm literally drawing right now with this camera in my face and i'm like if i hit my i can hit my head right <laughs> i'm gonna have to move over because it's getting hard i know that i know the angle is going to be off guys i apologize but i think you guys deserve the best of your old pal bill tucci don't you think Oh, the vellum she ash cans from the 90s. Yeah, those were really, we did very few of those. Thank you for, for getting those and supporting us. I love drawing hands. I've always loved drawing hands. Oh, my hands are getting dirty. Hang on. The old artist. Hose bath, if you know what I mean. It's like a hose bath. Right there. It's just... Uh, and sanitize it because I don't want to take a break and go down and wash my hands in the sink. <sighs> uh, the Don, I have not seen Masters of the Air yet. Um... I, I can't wait to see it. I want to see it. I will see it. I've just been so busy 
um, that I haven't had time actually to sit. Uh, you know, I, I, I'll watch things like right now on Hulu. I'm going to watch Shogun. Um, and I even I, I'm going to try it without the uh, the dubbing, the English dubbing, because I don't want to do that, even though some of the Korean horror stuff when it's dubbed, it, it, it's great. Um but I want to watch Shogun. Normally, I watch TV. Believe it or not, literally, I watch. Aside from hockey, which I watch, you know, my Islanders every game. Um, I watch the news or things I've seen before, um, just because I'm sitting there with my head down on the table. I don't want to miss anything, and I usually reserve. And because we all stream at night, I reserve. Really, watch TV on like Sunday nights, and then that depends on what Debbie wants to watch too. We'll light the fire and we'll get a bottle of wine or something and we'll sit and we'll watch uh, primarily uh, serial killer <laughs> things on Netflix. That's what our romantic evenings have, have turned into from wild nights in New York City and staying up till four in the morning to uh, Ted Bundy. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I'll have to spray this soon because, like I said, this pit, this black pencils. Because they are so soft, they um, they they're easily um, and I have to spray this. I'm gonna have to spray this now. Actually, um, they smudge easy, or they you just get little smudges all over the place. So I'm gonna have to clean this up. So I'm gonna get going, guys. It's 6:33. I gotta get my son to wrestling soon. Um, so I'm gonna feed the dog, uh, get him because I'm sure he took a nap after school. And get them together. But guys, I want to thank you all for joining me. Hang on. Where are my brushes? Oh, computer. That was my brush. Oh, wow. Um, I want to thank you all for joining me for this past hour and a half of uh, me drawing. 382 of you watching. Thank you guys so much. You're wonderful. Everybody out there on Twitter, thanks for watching us. Um, uh, everybody on on. Facebook, thank you for watching us, and especially you guys on YouTube. Thank you, guys. Please smash the like button. Subscribe to Niall Scala and my um, YouTube channel, the Pop XP. And um, it's uh, thank thank you all. Uh, Blue Boy Comics, good to see you. Of course, it's always my pleasure to have one of my favorite people in the whole world, Jimmy Pamiati, on a show. So you guys, thank you for your support. If you can, please, please support the She 30th Anniversary uh, original art edition, uh, which is on, which is uh, the books are coming to our stu to our office next week. They're already printed. Uh, they're in the binding phase right now, and they will be, uh, or they binded already. I think they're just settling now or something. Whatever. Um, they're they're uh, they'll be shipped to our office next week. The week after next, we start fulfilling in full force. You guys are the greatest. Uh, and then in April of two thousand. And 24, we launched She Gate Crasher. Uh, and there's my wife calling right now, telling me to get Matthew ready for a uh, thing. So love you all. Have a good one. Peace, love, comics. See you around. And let me get something cool to take us out with, all right? Let's find a video, man. Anyway, bye-bye. Where's, where's a goodbye video? Where's a damn goodbye video? Where is, here we go. Bye. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you soon.